Hi hey everybody, and welcome to the first installment of Zach Does Sports, where you can watch me, Zach, do sports. It's pretty self-explanatory. I'll be profiling a bunch of varsity teams here on campus, going around and getting some stories from them. And we're going to start out due to their upcoming appearance in the Patriot League Championship at Navy with the swimming and diving team. <laughs> Should be a lot of fun. The swimming and diving teams had graciously allowed me to take up some of their practice time, and so I wanted to look the part. Despite the sinking feeling I had made the absolutely wrong choice, I pushed ahead and sat down with a member of each team to hear their thoughts on the season. Hey everybody, I'm sitting here in what is probably the tiniest pool I have ever been in in my entire life. Uh, sitting on my right is Brendan Higgins, a member of the men's varsity diving squad. And on my left here, we have Christy Coleman, member of the women's swim team. Thank you guys for joining me today. Thank you for letting me use your facilities uh, and giving me this speedo, which is really awesome. Uh, so I just want to ask you guys a little bit, Christy, I'll start with you, how the season went, how you thought the season went, uh, some ups and downs, things like that, because you're closing down now, getting near the Patriot League Championship. Uh, so just give me a little bit of thoughts on, on your season so far. So we've been training since September, from, since the first day of school. So it's been a long season, but we've been you know, training really hard. Uh, we had a great couple of meets in October, November. Um, we went away on a training trip in January to Key Largo. That was really great. Um, we came back. Worcester City is always an exciting meet, probably my favorite meet. Uh, all the local teams, uh, we all swim pretty well. and uh, We have a really good team this year, a lot of strong freshmen, so it's been exciting. Did you do any swimming in Key Largo, or you kind of just hang out? A lot of swimming, we did a lot of swimming, doubles every day. Yeah, sure, I believe you. Okay, all right. Uh, Brendan, tell me a little about your season, too. Um, how you guys, are you did, how you thought you, you know, your season went so far, so. Yeah, the men's team's having a, a great year, I think. We beat Fairfield for the first time in a while. We had very strong showings at our invitational meets. We had one at URI. We had one at Boston College and Worcester City Championships. Um, Nick Vendetti has been killing it for us on the boards. He's uh, having one of the best seasons that we've seen ever, like number two ever maybe. So yeah, it's been a lot of fun. So you guys have the Patriot League Championships coming up this weekend. Are you going to be down at Navy in Lejeune Hall? So tell me a little bit about, are you excited for the championships? Um, how are you hoping to do, uh, improve on last year's finishing? Um, you know, what's going through your guys' head this week in practice? Great. So we're all uh, pretty excited, a little nervous, I think, but uh, all a good mix of emotions. Uh, put in, you know, so much training. We're really just excited to see it pay off. Um, we have two more teams in the Patriot League than we had last year. So last year the girls' team was able to get seven. So this year we're hoping to, you know, do a little better, but uh, we'll see. Uh, it's, it's always exciting. So. All right, Brendan, tell me your thoughts on the Page League Championship as well. You guys excited? You guys pumped? Yeah, we're, I'm, I'm really excited. Yeah. It's been a long season, but it'll be, it'll be nice to kind of see things come full circle. We're expecting to see some good times in the pool, some fun dives in the boards. Should be a good old time. It'll be a nice fun trip down in Navy as well, a little warmer weather down there too, I think. So tell me a little about, you were talking to me before the interview, uh, this pool is actually a point of contention between you guys. Uh, so Chrissy, we'll start with you on this one as well. Like, what is the story behind so this? The swimmers and the divers, we're one team, but we do practice in separate pools and we have separate coaches. And um, so when we are down there working out and we see the divers in the hot tub, we get a little jealous. We do. Uh, we know they're working hard, we know they're throwing out dives, but we do get a little jealous. Are you guys working hard over here, Brendan? What's your, uh, what's your side of the story here? Yeah, I mean, no, this thing's great. Uh, I swam all through high school, and I, I know how hard it is to swim, so whenever I land flat on my back, it's nice, you know, to sit here and just watch them swim <laughs> endlessly. Do you guys ever think you could share some time in here during a little practices or meets or anything? No? Probably not. Probably not. <laughs> I think we're in here. No? Uh, well, that's that's too bad. I really like it in here. So, so this is the only time you're going to get to spend in this pool during this interview. Uh, well, you are welcome, thank I guess. Um, that's uh, it for you guys. Again, Brendan, Christy, thank you so much for sharing your time with me. Um, I want to get out of here because I'm roasting. Uh, but now we're going to go. Brendan's going to teach me how to do a dive, and we're going to see uh, how that goes. Hopefully, I won't hurt myself. Uh, so no thanks problem. again, guys. I really appreciate it. Good luck at the Patriot League Championships, huh? Yeah, we got I was interested to see what Brennan had in store for me and hoping I hadn't bit off a little more than I could chew. So here we are, Brennan. Uh, tell me a little bit about what you're going to be teaching me to do today here. 
Well, in diving terms, we're going to be teaching you a 101C, that's a front dive tuck for those not in the know. <laughs> be a three step process. We're going to get you up there, do a couple okay. jumps, ease into it, then you're going to do a couple front fall ins, get the feel for landing head first. And we're just going to put those two together and go for it. Sounds great. Uh, not a huge fan of heights, shouldn't be a big issue up there. Uh, no, it will be. Oh, it's fantastic. really scary the first couple times. Okay. <laughs> Fall in seemed to be a bit easy, but I was still having some issues with my technique. Make sure that you're keeping your legs together, not buckling your knees. Your knees are flopping up. Knees still buckle. I'm not that good a coach, I guess. Go up, tuck down, kick your legs up. Kick your legs up. Okay. And just finish how you're finishing that. Alright. Yeah. Let's see. It's the easiest dive to look up. Now it's time to put it all together and actually jump into the pool. Was I nervous? Yes. Oh my god, yes. I was nervous. That was not as you graceful as I had pictured it. It, it felt mind. better. It's okay. Right, well, thanks. I did not think I'd be able to do that. Uh, did not look as graceful on tape as I had pictured in my mind, but we did it. Uh, so you are one uh, heck of a coach. Thank you very much, sir. Proud of you, son. <laughs> All right, everybody, thank you for joining me here today on the first edition of Zach Does Sports. I'm Zach Landing. Brendan Higgins, thank you again. Kristen Coleman, thank you as well. Uh, thank you also for the speed that you guys gave me. Uh, so I really appreciate that. Yeah, man. we normally don't wear those in practice, but because you specifically requested it, <laughs> thought I'd get the full experience. Yeah. Uh, now make sure everybody to check out the Patriot League Championships this weekend at Navy. You can stream it live on Patriot League Network, and you can get live stat updates on GoHolyCross.com. Uh, for Zach Lanning and GoHolyCross.com, thanks for tuning in, and I will see you next week. Huh?